All right. Remember the voices. What were the voices, Jesse? What were the terrible voices you used? What were the terrible voices you used? I guess we'll all find out together. Oh, hey, mustard. put her skills as a reporter to good use. I don't know that I believe this. Ah, there you are. I've been doing some investigating of my own since we last parted. I believe I found our Lapis Maiden. The girl's name is Arabella, daughter of one Master Gugurimo, a prominent member of the East Aldenar Trading Company. Her eyes and hair are a most exceptional shade of blue. Her beauty is the talk of the Sultanate. Her proportioned beauty, I would say, or I should say. You see, none have actually seen the girl in the flesh. Apparently, her father is the overprotective so I know where this is going. What's what's the like? What's the over under on little JC being dressed up in a like a blue dress by the end of this? Someone from the cast is in a blue dress by the end of this. What's the over under on? Having to pretend to be her since no one's seen her. What's, what's, what? What? What is the over? Like, that's gonna happen, right? <laughs> mm, okay. <laughs> Some say that the maiden has never set foot outside the family's well guarded estate. Yep, I'm definitely. Someone's dressing up. Someone's dressing up. But all this is about to change. Rumor has it the girl is to be wed, and not just to anyone, mind you, but to the heir of the Bruguier Consortium. The formal announcement is set to be made at the commemorative feast, to be jointly hosted by the two family businesses. The venue is Costa del Sol, where preparations are going on as we speak. Word on the street is that the bride-to-be will be making a rare public appearance. Uh, it is here the thief intends to strike. I couldn't be more certain of it. Piqued your interest, have I? My sources tell me that the bride's father is already in Costa del Sol overseeing the preparations. This is one scoop I'm not going to miss. You're welcome to come along. Gigarimu. Uh, someone mentioned they were like, Jesse, for this quest, you gotta get, you gotta be up, we gotta be able to see your eyes. It was nice that you have those cool shades and make you a cool inspector. But, is there other eyes? Uh -oh. Is there other eyes that I have? <laughs> those are, that uh, doesn't help me at all. Uh, we can just hide it for now. There you go, kids. There you go, kids. Enjoy. I can't put the visor up on on those. You're not one of my associates. This banquet is for the fighting guests only. If you have no business here, be on your way at once. Beg your pardon, good sir. My name is Ella, reporter for the Mithril Eye. Uh, if I might have a moment of... Ah, yes! Two girls and sensationless rag! Let me read your tiresome screen about the self-styled phantom thief and his letter of challenge. If you have come to tell me my daughter is in danger, I can assure you that your concern is entirely unwanted. I have not kept my Arabella safe this day to see her whisked away from me by some fly-by-night rogue. I have spared no expenses securing the best protection that money can buy. 
Oh. Shit. <laughs> the brassiest of blades. They don't talk, they only smile. It's a creepy smile, but I think it's neat. Also, you can't really see what's going on behind the eyes, so it's an extra creepy smile. Anyway, the brass blades of the Gebera, an elite unit of the most lethal swordsmen of the Sultanate. They say one of them once caused a man's heart to burst just by looking at him, like I was saying. That's just crazy. The moment they said eyes, the would-be thief will be his last. If the thief is obliging enough to allow himself to be seen. Oh, oh, hold on. Never mind. <laughs> Wrong voice. Um, if the thief is obliging enough to allow himself to be seen, or do those goggles serve some purpose other than making the wear look utterly ridiculous? Yaha, I'm back, bitches. Ah, consulting Inspector Brandon! Your reputation precedes you. And what, pray tell, would you propose? Hmm? I have promised some of the wealthiest men in the realm that my daughter will be attending the festivities. To renege on my uh, word would have dire co implications for my family trade. My proposal is a simple one, and trust me, uh, trust the investigation to me. The thief will be in shackles before the banquet commences. And it would cost you not a whit of your precious gill. Hmm. Very well. Let us see if your reputation is deserved. But consider yourself warned. Greater fortunes than you will ever know. You will ever know. Hinge upon this banquet. I will not tolerate any disturbances. And disturbance. And disturbances. Such touching concern for his coin purse. If only he could muster the same for his daughter. But do tell, Inspector. After he slipped under our noses the last time, what makes you so confident that you can catch our thief this time around? Our man may boast a thousand faces, but he is but a single, mo uh, single modus operandi, and it is painfully obvious. A letter of challenge, a precious treasure whisked away from its rightful owner in the broad light of day. This tells me that our thief is an intention seeker uh, with supreme confidence in his abilities. Doubtless, he means to target the maiden using the same methods he used to abscond with the treaty blade. Even now, the fiend is in our midst, having assumed the identity of someone who will be in close proximity to Miss Arabella at the feast. I have already narrowed the field. Arabella's betrothed, Vonis, would be an obvious target for our thief. So, too, his father, Morgant. Yolto Nolto and his wife, Siana Anamana. She probably has a second name. Siana Nana Mano Mama, a guest of honor, will give a toast to the couple's happiness. Both will be standing close to the stage with the bride to be set to appear. Needless to say, we cannot rule out Gugurimo himself. Finally, we have Luminart, the steward of Gugurimo's estate, and Miss Arabella's personal attendant. All the key players, save for the Lapis Maiden herself, have assembled in Costa del Sol. Doubtless the Phantom Thief lurks among them, his face concealed, gathering information and planning his course of attack. We'll begin our questioning of the suspects immediately. Should you encounter any suspicious individuals, you'll report back to me at once. <laughs> so dumb. 
Hildebrand Mandeville. I could smell the stench of idiocy and incompetence from a mum away. Pleasure is all my contriving its pectum brown. Forgive me for not revealing myself sooner. How he's knocked out. How do I sound? I was simply conducting a bit of preliminary undercover investigative work. You see, through my ingenious disguise with such ease, yet I dare say your powers of observation rival even my own. Fear not, friends. I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, have arrived to defend the maiden's honor as only a Mandeville can. Mandeville man can. <laughs> These two. He does realize there's a, <laughs> still a fish on his head, doesn't he? Good inspector, I realize we have not seen eye to monocle in the past. But a, ma <laughs> but a fair maiden's virtue, mayhap, her very life is at stake. From one gentleman to another, let us put aside our differences. Yes, I would welcome your assistance in this case. Assist you? Aren't you a funny man? Oh, it makes no matter. My plan is so flawless that even your bungling can't interfere this time. If you wish to assist me, you may do so by keeping watch over the suspects. In the meantime, I have a promising lead to investigate. I shall return before the banquet begins. While I know this may be asking much, do try not to do anything too stupid in my absence, will you? I would speak with you, but not here. I'll be waiting for you outside Costa del Sol. Come quickly, for we do not have the luxury of time. It is not by fate's whimsy that we've been reunited here today, friend. You are destined to be by my side as I apprehend the fiend and defend the fair maiden's virtue. Inspector Brighton seems to have taken a liking to you. You should be proud. As, as you can see by his treatment of someone we know, the man doesn't suffer fools lightly. I didn't even have to go that far. You've come, excellent. With that buffoon suitably, dis oh, with that buffoon suitably distracted, we can get to more important matters. But before we proceed, what might I call you? An unremarkable name, but it will suffice. Now answer me this, little. You were there when the Phantom Thief in the skies of Lady Durilda stole off with the Treaty Blade. Was there anything about our foes of skies that struck you as particularly noteworthy? Uh, the perfect mannerisms. Intriguing. Where most would point out the sheer physical perfection of disguise, you turn an eye within. A thorough inspection of the mask left behind at the scene revealed a tiny prism sewn into the fabric. It is this stone that allows him to change appearances at will. And yet, like you, this was of secondary concern to me. From movements to mannerisms to that utterly obnoxious personality, the thief did not merely look like Lady Derilda, he was her. Such a feat could not be accomplished by magical trickery alone. We are dealing with a clever and thorough criminal. Not content to rely on his ample powers of disguise, he studies his targets closely before assuming their identities. He emulates them utterly and completely. That not even their closest friends or family could detect that all is amiss. 
All the key players arrived at Costa del Sol three days ago, while preparations for the banquet began. This would afford our thief more than enough time to study his would-be target. And yet, some disguises are more challenging than others. Put yourself in the mind of the Phantom Little. If you were the thief, whose identity would you first assume? I will not say. <laughs> uh, whose identity would I assume? One of the guests. Would he? The guests are well acquainted with each other. One misstep and the thief's cover we've blown. No, there's a more logical first target. W uh, one that would afford him opportunity to gather the knowledge he needs and less risk. I don't know. I don't know. The blast blades are new, though. They're new. Did I just call them blast? The blast blaze. Blast blaze blue. Strong in number, few in words, able to come and go as they please. A fearsome reputation to scare away any who would draw near enough to realize something was amiss. An ideal entry into Costa del Sol for our man. Deducing such, I made a point to question brass blades in the area. Little to my surprise, I learned that there was one man who had not been seen at his favorite alehouse for the past three days. Our thief has not made a habit of wanton murder. Doubtless the poor man is lying naked in a ditch not far from here. In addition uh, to general security duties, each of the blades has been assigned to serve as bodyguard uh, for one or more of the guests. The man can tell us of his assigned charge. Like it or not, his answer would reveal the current identity of our thief. Our thief would, ha uh, would not have had time to carry the unconscious man far. I will canvas the immediate area. You begin your search in the outskirts of Costa del Sol. Okay, I'll do it. The Blaze Blue Blades. Oh, hey. Excellent. You are one of the less incompetent assistants I've worked with. Thank you. Oh, thank the gods! Please free me from these chains before the snippers eat me alive! There. Now tell me all you can remember about what happened to you. Try to be brief. Oh, we just arrived at Coast of El Sol and a brief of the sorts. Master Gigarimu gave us each our orders who we looking after and the like. Had a mind to tour the area, get me bearings. Next thing I knew, I felt a thwack in the back of my head. Oh, when I came to, here I was, stripped of me skivvies. Much to the chagrin of those of us who have to look at you, you say you received orders from Master Gigaru. Who was to be your charge? Oh, my memory is hazy, but um, one was uh, Morgan, father and the groom. The other was a lot of fellow in Jane from Limsa. Yalta Milto. Hmm. Now try your best to remember. Were there any other guests with whom you were ordered to interact? Uh, come to think of it, yes, there was also the steward. So really, all of them. I was to review uh, with him the schedule of events, discuss the protection of key supplies, that sort of thing. Morgan, Yalton Alto, and Luminart. Thank you. For an incompetent fool, your testimony has proved astonishing and enlightening. I shall see this man back to the city and into possession of some new clothes, after which I shall return to Costa del Sol to continue the investigation. Go on ahead of me, and for the love of gods, just make sure that imbecile doesn't cause too much trouble in my absence. It's already too late. I'm gonna get back there, I'm gonna walk in like... Like a Donald Glover. The whole place is on fire. And I, the, the pizzas, I don't know what to do with the pizzas. Ah, oh, there you are, friend. 
not a moment too soon, for I was about to commence my investigation in earnest. Tell me, did your and did your and the Inspector Bryden's avenue of inquiry bear fruit? Sure, yeah, I guess. Morgan, Yalto, Nalto, and the Stuart Luminard, you say? This does not surprise me. Yes, I considered them all exceptionally suspicious from the start. With the lapis maiden in danger, you cannot afford a moment's delay. I, Hilda Brand, shall have our thief in shackles before the inspector returns. Fear not, friend. The inspector shall be none the wiser. Ha <laughs> ha! If he had hoped to nab the fiend for himself, he should not have simplified the task for me so. Ah, there is one of our suspects standing suspiciously under the canopy over there. Just you wait, fiend. I shall rip the mask from your face and reveal you for the rogue that you are. Ellie's just along for the ride. She don't believe it, but she's like, yeah, all right. Uh-oh. <laughs> I forgot his voice already. Oh, the... <laughs> what was his voice? Oh, the time to raise that bella, beautiful young woman, has been in anticipation of this day. I have never been more proud to call myself a farmer. I'm Vanyas, heir to the chairmanship of the Murray Consortium. And who exactly are you again? I'm sorry, I just realized I don't take the car. The lucky father of the group to be. Oh, the fiend who will sully the maiden's virtue. In a matter of moments, all shall be revealed. Stay back, friend. The man we pursue is a criminal mastermind. The merest slip of the tongue could put our case, nay, our very lives in danger. But have no fear, Miss Ellie. Ready your quill, for you might record my every word as I employ the time-honored art of parley, handed down from the mandrill men of ages past to reveal our foe. I can think of a few topics that would interest our readers. <laughs> I can think of a few topics that would interest our readers less than your blatherings. Just catch the thief so I can have my story, would you? Don't worry, Inspector! There's that voice. I brought my quill and journal too! Your adoring fans won't miss a word! Capital! This is why you're my favorite assistant, Nashu! Now behold, as I ensnare our prey with a web of words leading to his inevitable demise. <laughs> Good day, Master Gigirumu. Rambu, well, however you say your damn name. And a fine day it must be. For you, uh, for you most of all, allow me to offer my most heartfelt congratulations to your betrothal uh, to the enchanting Miss Arabella. What? what is this nonsense? Arabella is my daughter, you... Just who in the seven hells are you anyway? Gods! Gods! Aha! No, the chocobo, Garomo. I recognize this lad. This is Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, Inspector Extraordinaire. Come to save the love lost from the clutches of the Phantom Thief, have ye? I reckon we owe our man our gratitude, eh, on ye? The Phantom Thief, Boulder Dash in the Rock, if you ask me. That said, my betrothed must be quite the beauty indeed. To have such rumors told about her, perhaps she is worthy of me after all. <laughs> he exudes an unusual degree of confidence for such an effete fashion challenge youth. Most suspicious. He's a damn sight easier on the eyes than you. Ellie has no taste. We le we've learned that now. <laughs> That's me, Vogues. 
ever come in the face of danger truly is for the son. A worthy heir to the Brown Consortium and worthy match for my daughter, I must say. Mm, yes. I haven't seen many years' prosperity for our families, or family, should I say? No! <laughs> Which reminds me, Master Vargas, Arabella asked me to convey her gratitude to you for the golden clasp you sent some months ago. It has not left her neck since that day. Oh, that little trinket. It was nothing. Tell your daughter the greatest treasures in the realm will be hers once we're wed. <laughs> I don't know why they all laugh like that. <laughs> I don't know why they all laugh like that. Time honored Mandeville art of parlay? I have so many I have so many questions about <laughs> this whole situation. <laughs> We'd be sleeping with the fishes now if Morgan had spoke up on your behalf. That said, nothing about the interactions between the three struck me as particularly unnatural. <laughs> Let's not rush to conclusions, Miss Ellie. A gentleman fancies a more methodical approach. Yes, everything is proceeding according to my master plan. Whoops! I, I was supposed to be taking this note down, wasn't I? Uh, everything is proceeding according to my master plan. I sought only to earn the trust of the families before confronting Yalto Noto and Luinart, who have aroused my suspicion from the start. Come! We have a thief to apprehend! Yelto, Nelto, and Luinart. One of the two wears a mask, but which one? Which, uh, with a few words, all will be revealed. Renting out Master Eruzius as private property would be almost unthinkable for most folk. But Gil talks, and neither the Brugan Consortium nor the East Aldenon. The hell is happening down. Oh, those are fish underwater! I thought those were flying! I got distra- I thought there were- I thought the fish had left the ocean. The water's so clear. I thought the fish had left the ocean and were now- <laughs> I'm telling you, it looked like they were flying. I almost lost my mind. I was like, what? Uh, no, the Esau not trading company are in danger of running their coffers dry. I'm looking forward to meeting Miss Arabella. They say many a song is sung of her beauty. Mind you, there was a song or two sung of me in the day. Oh. What is this kid's voice going to be like? All right. Think, brain. Hmm. Oh. I've not seen your faces around here. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? With East Aldenon Trading Company, are we? Why, yes, good sir. Very much with them. Some might even say we are the East Aldenon Trading Company. Ha 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 ha! Oh ho, a pleasure to meet you. Do tell, is the Lapis Maiden as lovely as they say? Santa hears no slouch herself. But like me, she's getting on in years. There no offense, my dear. But, oh, but where are my manners? Yelta, Lalta, Lemagar Consortium, and this is me wife, say not now. I look forward to many profitable dealings with you and yours and moons and years to come. I, I dare say this wedding and joining together our family businesses couldn't be happening at a better time. But with manner of fell beasts and beastmen take an aim at our wares. Why, just the other day, a ship of imported foodstuff was waylaid by the mandragoras, nasty buggers, a lot of them. Mm, if I were twenty years younger, I'd dice them up myself and make a salad out of. Mm. You have heard of mandragoras, haven't you? 
<laughs> but of course! I once spent a year honing body and mind with the fist of Rogar. My fellow monks and I would chant several hun would chant several hundred mantra what's oh gotcha. Would chant several hundred mantra what's it's a day. And your food stores were occasionally raided by a ruthless band of rogue vegetables known as mandragoras, yes? Would it kill you to read the Mithra and educate yourself from time to time? Ah, fearsome lot they are. Rumor is that they not rest until every fruit or vegetable harvested for consumption has been freed from captivity. Why, they struck the larder here just days ago. Our supplies were decimated. Fear not, my lady. I was able to arrange for an emergency shipment to replace the stolen produce. She just like lose her balance? What is that? <laughs> that just, did anyone else catch that? <laughs> it arrived safely some time ago. Forgive my wife. Uh, she's always saying how meat is bad for her figure. And with that, I best go prepare me speech. Carry on, lads. <laughs> I forgot she falls asleep during this mission. I forgot she constantly falls asleep. Criminy. None of those three were suspicious in the least. We must not give up hope, lest he of many faces have the last laugh. Where there is a will, a gentleman shall find a way. Come, Nashu. We must move quickly, or the lapis maiden shall not be the only one to come to harm. You speak so fast, Inspector. The sign of a quick mind, I'm sure. Now, where was I? Give up hope. He of many faces will laugh last. The Lapis Maiden shall not be the only one to come to harm. I'm not sure that captures the inspector's intended meaning. But this is no time for us to stand around. Inspector Briarden will be back at any moment now. And he's not the only type to suffer. And he's not the only type to suffer excuses. Quite so, Mazzelli. Fortunately, I have a plan. Let's investigate the foodstuffs of which Master Lewin had spoke. Should we find any contradictions in his testimony, we can consider the man prime suspect. Inspector Bryden will be back uh, before long. Come, Nashu! This is no time to delay. What? Everyone just chilling out down here. I hate this. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> Look at this! Now there's water! Now there isn't! Now there's water! Some of those coconuts don't look like coconuts. These crates must contain the foodstuffs of which Master Luanard spoke. At a glance, they do not appear particularly suspicious, but our investigation must not be deterred. Crates of assorted foodstuffs and veritable host of luscious looking coconuts? It appears our man Lunard spoke. True? You gads! Are those explosives I spy concealed amongst the coconuts? Perhaps I spoke in haste. It would appear that we have found our phantom thief after all. Oh, those are mine, Inspector! I was looking for a place to set him down, you see? And those coconuts are all looking awfully lonely. Nashu, far be it for me to cast doubt on your choice of hobbies. But what in the name of the Twelve would possess you to bring your creations to an investigation? Well, they were so helpful in jogging your memory that one time. I just thought, uh... Does this mean you won't be needing 
need in this piece of driftwood either. Your enthusiasm is always admirable, Nashu, but in this event, I fear it's somewhat misdirected. Now, set that driftwood down over there and concentrate on taking your notes like an astute assistant you are. I say, we are most fortunate that confounding Inspector Briarden is otherwise occupied at the moment. Were he uh, here to chance upon the scene, he would veritably explode with rage. Now let us dispose of these uh, things before Aaron Embers sends us all to fiery demise. Confounding Inspector Briarden, explode, fiery demise. Got it? Are you sure about that? Uh-oh, don't like now, but someone has returned to the absolute worst time possible! You two are supposed to be keeping an eye on the suspects and staying out of trouble, yes? The inspector will have to uh, have a fit if he sees you here. But Miss Miss Ellie, uh, should Inspector Briar didn't come upon these explosives, the consequences will be even more dire. And then I will see the inspector keeps a wide berth at this beach. You two just get out of here and be quick about it. Quick thinking, Miss Ellie. Come, Nashu. We shall return your creations once uh, return for your creations once Inspector Bride has been led safely from the scene. An investigation calls us, and we must heed the cry. We're not gonna talk about this. This driftwood is probably the most important story element. All we have to do is lure him away from these crates. That shouldn't be too difficult, right? So, Hildebrand managed thus far not to destroy anything. Consider me something almost resembling impressed. Ha <laughs> ha indeed. But enough about Hildebrand. Lil and I have been wanting to hear your latest theories. We should go somewhere quiet and... An excellent idea, Miss Ellie. Ah, yes. That spot over there by the crate should suffice. There, of all places? But surely we could find somewhere more scenic. I'm not here on vacation. I'm here to solve a case. Besides, we cannot afford to have our conversation overheard. That junk littered beach should afford us some privacy. Oh, you saw all those people over there? <laughs> They'll teach you to follow me. <laughs> They'll teach you to like what I do. <laughs> That'll teach you to be a fan. Yes, Inspector, privacy indeed. Bloody hells. Don't worry, little. I'll figure out some way to lead him clear of the bombs. This beach is littered with junk. So much junk. So much junk. <laughs> I think the tide is rising. We, we really should move to higher ground. Is it me? Is it just me? Or is it a chill in the air? P perhaps we should go someplace warm. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. I, for one, welcome the respite from the sweltering heat. Besides, this isn't. Uh, this will not take long. Uh, if you insist, Inspector. <laughs> Through the questioning of the brass blades, uh, attacked by our quarry, I have identified three individuals most likely to be our thief in disguise. To wit, Morgant. Yotonato and Luminart. Three of us shall split up, each keeping in watch over. <laughs> uh, 
<clears throat> Are you two listening? Are the two of you listening, even? Uh, of course we are! Beg pardon, Inspector. <laughs> you look unwell, Miss Ellie. Perhaps you were right. I, too, feel a chill wind blowing. Perhaps we should continue our conversation elsewhere. Ah, but there is no need. Wait here! I shall build us a fire! Ha-ha! Ha-ha. Methinks the inspector has taken leave of his senses. The chance of locating suitable kindling in these barren shores is infinitesimal. That's a big word, inspector! Here we are. A piece of driftwood should serve perfectly. Wait, wrong voice. <clears throat> Too many voices. Here we are. A piece of driftwood should serve perfectly. And as fortune would have it... I just happen to have a flintstone on my person. So ominous. <laughs> There's no cause for alarm. It is not blood that courses through the inspector's veins, but ice. I cannot fathom a series of events that would lead such a calm and composed individual to lose his firm grip on the fiery touch. Remarkable insight, Inspector. I must recall these words for posterity. Wait, it's flying! What do we have here? Everything is proceeding according to my master plan. <laughs> that face, that face. <laughs> Could this be another challenge from the fiend? Surely you jest, Inspector. It looks nothing like the usual card, see? Doubtless it's just idle ravings of some madman. Yup, 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 yup. Perhaps so, but we must exercise due caution. Da, there are two more pages. Give up hope. He of many faces will laugh last. It is not the Lapis Maiden alone that shall come to harm. It is more direct than his previous challenges, but there can be no doubt as to the sender. But what is this talk of another victim? The final page holds the answer, no doubt. The final page? Confounding Inspector Bryden will meet a fiery demise?
Now that man is a hero. <laughs> and sneeze. You saw through the fiend's ruse, but how? Duh, let's just call it a reporter's intuition. Are you hurt? A ringing in my ears, but otherwise no worse for wear. You... you have my gratitude. Hildebrand Mandeville, were you able to aught the fiend who made this in not in in ignoble? That's a word I did not expect to see. An ignoble attempt on my life. I exhausted every effort, Inspector. Yet I fear our quarry proves ever elusive. Excellent. I might have died of shock if you <laughs> if you had. At any rate, our foe has revealed himself as no more, uh, no mere thief, but a madman, a resort cold-blooded murder. We must redouble our vigilance, lest the others come to harm. Vigilance, yes, vigilance is the order of the day. Wait, hold on, what's the voice? <clears throat> Roger the name of gods! Those teeth! Those vegetables cost a- uh, He would say, those vegetables cost a fortune! And they're ruined. Ruined! Agents of inquiry! More like agents of injury on incompetence! No, you want to replace the supplies you destroyed before the banquet begins? Or I will see the entire lot of you rot in jail! Do you see that sign? for the very prince sign. I would ask how he survived an explosion at point blank range, but something tells me that's one more mystery better left unsolved. I think the bigger mystery is how his clothes changed back. Thanks to our quick thinking, the bums are no more, and the inspector is none the wiser. Just a shame to see good food go to waste, though. Those coconuts looked positively luscious. Is that a fish? I'm getting pretty hungry. Clearly, our thief has decided that my prodigious intellect presents the greatest threat to his schemes. Perhaps he's more clever man than I thought. Look at all these goobers. Look, <laughs> Look at these goobers. Terrible explosion coming from the beach. Is everyone safe? Fear not. The fiend's artless attempt in my life has been thwarted. Sadly, your food supply did not escape unscathed. Master Gigerimu bids that the damaged ingredients be replaced with full speed. Good gods. 
This is no thief, this is a madman. As for replacing the ingredients, I fear that will prove a difficult task. Those crates contain important vegetables uh, of considerable rarity, you see. Vegetables that are particularly short supply these days. What with the mandragoras at large? Always the mandragoras! Even if I were to replace the order immediately, it would take uh, likely take days to arrive. The mandragoras? I have heard of that fell band. Tell me, what manner of vegetables did they steal? The rarest was important from Far East. I don't recall the name, but very closely resembles the yours in dragon pepper. Save for its color, which is a deep purple. Methinks dust worry you dust worry too much, Master Luanard. Our course of action is clear. We are need only storm the den of these overgrown weeds and steal your precious purple dragon peppers right back. I would advise against that, Inspector. These are no ordinary mandragoras, but rather a bloodthirsty band of killers given suck in flesh. Even the brass blades of Gerbera proved unable to resist them. Oh, -ho, a formidable foe indeed. Were only there a brave soul in our midst with want for taking on fearsome enemies without a shred for concern of his own well being. Your eyes, friend, they speak to me. They say, I, yes, I shall vanquish these rogue vegetables and deliver the purloined goods back to their rightful owner. You're truly a godsend adventurer. One Sunday mole of the Yellow Jackets has been charged with defending the roads from Madagora. If anyone would have knowledge of the current whereabouts, it would be him. Without those ingredients, Master King Rimo is like to cook me instead. Please, friend, you're my only hope. A gentleman would never let his comrade face danger alone. Let us away to limps and together! Ah, writing more death threats, I see. this guy's voice gonna be if you come back for the book no nope, that's if you come back for the magic cars that's it mm. i fear you <laughs> the battle too late as we were blasted on i hear the poor merchant tell it no sooner had he opened his cargo hold to check his ship and the vegetables than did an onion turn on him screeching bloody murder Fled his own vessel in sheer terror, he did! By the time he came to his senses, he had set sail without him! The merchant left for airport, hoping to recoup his losses! If you have a mind to go after the culprits, you might lend an ear to his dead tail! <coughs> ah! Is the thrill that chase not invigorating, friend? The ferry dug by Fisherman's Bottom will carry us to airport. Let us be swiftly on our way. <laughs> Is the Marauders Guild? Nope, that's not it at all. I'll just go there. What am I doing? Oh, hey, Frisk. Not all of us, not all of us rock amazing voices. Some of us just have voices. <laughs> Truly terrible voices. <laughs> Don't sneak up on me like that. I thought you were fernal, uh, a feral turnip. A ferno? A ferno is what I was going to say. I don't even know. A murderous eggplant or something like that. Think I just do yet? Uh, you'd be singing a different tune if I shot a tomato juice almost took out your eye, as it did mine. My eye! 
By the time I regained my wits, they'd already set sail with me ship and my livelihood. I'm ruined. Ruined! If I never see another bleeding onion until the end of me days, it'll be too soon! Quest complete. Oh. My. God. Look at this crew. Look at this crew! Here, most say it, the Magikors are a nasty lot! A right pain in the ass to farmers and provisioners the realm over! But let me tell you, friend, that ain't the least of it! Fear and their fellow fronds from the larders and tables, uh, free and even their fellow fronds from larders and tables is but the beginning! The bulbous blackguards uh, have a far grander scheme! A revolution! Madness, you say? Take a ferry to the Isles of Umbra and see with your own eyes! A veritable vegetable kingdom where eggplants and turnips rule with an iron fist! This muscle-bound fellow with a dim expression, I can swear I've seen his face somewhere before. Bugger me. If it ain't the undead overlord what fancies himself a gentleman inspector! Which would make you... <gasps> Could it be? The adventurer what best is the thieving duelist in single combat? Are you the one who... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was me. Well, bugger me, call me Inspector! Tell me, is it true that duelists traveled with a demon bird whose crow could spit, uh, split the heavens? But that's neither here nor there. Look, I don't know about you, but I ain't so keen on the notion of calling a bloody tomato your grace. And that's exactly the fate we're in for if we don't nip this revolution in the butt. And I mean that literally. As we speak, the Mangors are planting themselves a whole army of their own kind in the Isle of Umbra. You'd be doing the whole realm a favor if you go there and uproot them before the harvest comes. Many a case has been solved in my day, but I've not matched wits with a sentient pl uh, plant life before. This should prove quite exhilarating. To the Isles of Umbra! This man got me. This man got me flying to the Isles of Umbra. By the way, did I mention multiple months into this game? Multiple months into this game. I just discovered that there's a hard mode for this dungeon. I guess it was in Heaven's Ward. I just never got it. So, I have that for some reason to do still. Who knew? Ah, yes. Uh, place... I think it says play station. Yeah. Okay. okay. You feel a hostile gaze upon you. What? Why would you... Why would there be a hostile... Why would there be a hostile gaze upon me? I'm just little JC. Little Inspector JC. What do you mean? Let me see here. PlayStation! Yeah, I think so. You have a hostile gaze upon you. Whose gaze could be so hostile? A plant? A plant rising up against the masses? Never. I thought this was a man, dead on the ground. I was like, that guy just... PlayStation! Buy PlayStation Plus! I think that's what that says. Crazy. I feel a hostile gaze upon me. Lovely. While I'm here, I might as well talk to this guy, right? Oh no, I actually have to click the dungeon. Oh. Looks like that evidence was planted. Yeah! What? <laughs> Hildebrand, what? Friend, my pursuit of the Magic Gores has led me beneath the surface. Yes, 
They must be down here. Somewhere. Commence the Mandrake Gallery. Level sink. Ooh, what? What? Oh my god. What is... Down with the queen! I'm not even prepared for this! I need your help, sweet boy! Ooh! I just sent... Derpy to his doom. Why don't I just do this? The queen! Stop with the queen's head! Oh my god. Hit him all with boil. Uh oh. Sorry, is that thing named Dark Helmet? Shut up. Shut up. Do you guys see that in the background? Is there, is there just a random monster named Dark Helmet that I'm not aware of? I have to kill this thing. <laughs> I can't believe I've never seen this before. This is amazing. This is so funny. <laughs> it's really cute. We ain't found shit. Impeccably fought, my friend. I only wish I could see the battle with my own eyes. <laughs> you may go on ahead to Costa del Sol. I shall be along as soon as I <laughs> extricate myself. You don't want help? You. All right. He's a Mandeville man, he needs no help. Don't you get it? A Mandeville man can admit he needs help. <coughs> okay. Now for every voice ever. Hmm. What took you so long, friend, you son of a... The Isles of Umbra are but a short sprint away. I trust you have brought along the goods we so bravely reclaimed. You returned. I feared you might end up a tasty snack for the craves head of the cabbage. Well, the stolen foodstuffs have saved my hide today. But I must see that if those purple dragon peppers are intact, Master Kiruma is quite particular about his seasonings. Oh, can I come too? Oh, I've never seen a purple dragon pepper before. 
That wild vegetable chase was a pleasant diversion, but it's time we return to the case. Now, there must be some clue that yet eludes us. Cool! The peppers have changed color! What's this? Peppers that possess the same power of disguise as our many-faced foe? A gentleman must needs investigate. A striking shade of blue, quite far from the purple Master Luna described. Perhaps we covered the wrong crates. But look here, Inspector! The crate's moth goes to their soul! How curious! Did, did I say purple? I meant purple bluish or bluish purple. The two colors are really quite similar when you think about it. These peppers have almost a distinctive hue. No man could reasonably mistake it for any shade of purple. Unless, of course, he was wearing a very particular sort of eyewear at the time. <laughs> ha! The charade's up! After that man! It is as I suspected all along. The goggles have proved the key to cracking the case. With speed, Nashu! The fiend is about to be. Uh, the fiend must be brought to justice, even. How'd they get over here? Oh, is this the real one? You can run, but you cannot... You thought you could out sprint this Mandeville man? You are sorely mistaken. A pilfering a prince, uh, priceless blade, threatening a maiden's virtue, and untold crimes against the law abiding citizens of Eorzea. I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, hereby place you under arrest. Done it by a sniper. A fitting, a fitting end for an ignoble thief. Let's see what lies behind the mask. Avail you not. I suggest you come willingly. A gentleman is not given to violence, but should you attempt to resist, I disavow responsibility for any shattered skulls and broken bones. It's true, we don't. Wait, I, I remember now. I was on my way to meet Miss Arabella when. Miss Arabella, I must find her at once. Ah, oh, my head. seem that this man wears no mask. This is the true Luinert. I swear my life it is so. I was en route to a state in Wineport when one of the brass blades and patrol approached me. We exchanged greetings. The next instant he turned on me. I fought desperately to defend myself. He even managed to kick, uh, even managed to drive a, why did I say kick? I guess kitchen. Sometimes I read ahead. Tried to drive a kitchen knife in the man's right hand. In the end, though, he proved too strong for me. Now 
that you mention it, the imposter was wearing gloves. I see there was something suspicious about... I knew there was even. There's still time before the banquet begins. Knowing our quarry, he has doubtless already assumed a new identity. And yet, we could not have foreseen this turn of events. It is unlikely that he had time to thoroughly research his new target. More importantly, we know how the thief suffered a wound to his right hand. We simply return to Kosadel's soul and examine the hands of all present. An excellent plan, Inspector. While you do so, we shall come and Luminar back to the estate that we might ensure Miss Arabella's safety. <gasps> oh no. Whoa. <laughs> Who is this voice? I have found you. I hold on. What's the voice? I'm Emperor Palpatine. We gotta. We gotta. What's the voice? What is the voice? I need a voice. Oh no! Come on. Who is? Who is? Question mark. Who is? Question mark. Come on, brain. Um. Doctor Claw. I have found you, my little ones. Let me guess. You seethe with anger at those who took from you what was yours. What? <laughs> How could you catch it? That would appear our goals are in accord. Make for Ghost of Soul and wait my orders. When the time is right, revenge will be ours. I feel bad for the onion guy because he's crying. It's not his fault he's an onion. Yeah, we're gonna get him! <laughs> the tomato just looks mean. The tomato looks like an asshole. The game is afoot, inspectors. Now the tomatoes have all seen his face. They've all seen his face. Like they're, they're they have to die. Now, what mask shall I wear to the ball? T terrifying. I'll get you next time, Hildebrand. Oh, hey, Arabella. I, uh, let me just restate for the record. <clears throat> Which one of us is getting an address? One of us is showing up as her. It's going to happen. I know this is happening. I'm, it's just going to happen. I know it's going to happen. Miss Arabella, uh, what are you doing out here? You must return to the estate at once. Oh, Lewin, always the warrior. That's not her voice. Her voice has to be sweeter. <clears throat> Oh, Lewin, always the warrior. Your concern is touching, but I'm a grown a woman grown even. Besides, I just want to see the floor walls. Lovely though these flowers may be, they are as unsightly weeds when measured against your beauty. 
I am Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire. Please call me Hildy. Oh, the pleasure is mine, my lord. Much have I heard of your deeds. Tell me, are these rumors of a many-faced thief true? I fear they are, Miss Arabella. But still your gentle heart. For as long as Hildebrand's on the case, the fiend shall not lay a twisted finger upon you. This I uh, swear on the Mandeville name. Oh, the gods are smiling on me indeed. To send such a strong and handsome gentleman as my champion. And yet, ah. Uh, you seem pensive, milady. Is something the matter? To tell the truth, this marriage has been arranged against my wishes. I do not love Von Muses. Who does? Why, I've not even met him. He sent me this clap as a betrothal gift. A treasure for my treasure. Wear it always, the message said. I do not care how beautiful it is. It might as well be a golden shackle. Miss, Miss Arabella, you must not say such things. An arranged marriage to a youth you have not even met? Unconscionable. Father says this marriage must happen, that it is for the future of the family trade. Spoken like a true don. But if I may be so bold, my lady, would I be correct in assuming that you and your father are not related by blood? Quite so. Father found me amongst the beggars Pearl Lane when I was just a babe. He took me in and raised me as his own. He took Lewin as well, though as servant rather than son. You may think father a cold and miserly man, but to me, he is the man who gave me warmth and hope where I had none. I will learn to love Vanyas. I will make father happy. You cannot be serious, Miss Arabella. You're a beautiful woman with your whole life ahead of you. Surely you would not have to look far to find a gentleman with whom you'd rather spend the rest of your days. We have to spend another hour with you. I'm going to lose my wits. But anyway, we should return to Cosa del Sol and see how Inspector's investigation fares. I, as well, must prepare for the banquet. Farewell, friends. <laughs> We've not a moment to lose, friend. The time of our final confrontation with the Fiend is nigh. Our foe has doubtless, uh, doubtless assumed a new identity. But have no fear. Upon our return to Costa del Sol, I shall employ the time-tested manual art of parlay to cut through the Fiend's flimsy facade. Tis an art that I would impart to you as well, friend. Though there will be time enough for that once our foe is in shackles and Miss Arabella is safe. No doubt it shall prove it's valuable in your adventure as it has in my investigations. Or falling that, failing that even, serve to entertain you when you have nothing better to do. But I digress. A gentleman must always take Cosa del Sol. The fair maiden's life hangs in the balance. Not shoot Miss Ellie with me. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Sorry that we're gonna have to dress up as you at some point. At some point we're getting in a dress. I'm just letting you know. At some point, we're going to be in a dress. It's happening. Inspector Bryden, I have seen the maiden's safety. Miss Arabella will be along soon. How fares your investigation? I have canvassed the grounds, but none of the guests are concealing their hands. How could this be? The thief must be somewhere. Oh, these two gossips. Uh, gossipy voice. <clears throat> Miss Arabella just left her estate, I hear. 
I suppose we'll find out soon enough if your view is truly a match for uh, our own. Tee hee. There's no time. Without Stephen Custody, we cannot risk allowing Miss Arabella to take the stage. But Inspector, Vanison's family will not take kindly to his betrothed's absence. That is nothing of my concern. Besides, doubtless the Inspector here will think of something. Me? me? What do you propose? You're an expert in creating diversions. Can't you just knock something over, blow something up the like? You know, like you always do. Inspector Briard. I knew the day would come when you would recognize the, my, uh, my many talents. Worry not about Master Vanya's. Yes, for the sake of the maiden, a gentleman will do what must needs be done. We're getting in a dress. The poor sop lacks even the wits to know when he's being insulted. Uh, now to the task at hand. We must find a way to conceal Miss Arabella's true identity. Not far from here are servants' quarters. There should be a change of clothes lying about. Perfect. Little, find some suitably ordinary garb and deliver it to Miss Arabella outside the gates. I shall proceed with the investigation. in a row of yet, I simply must look upon a beauty myself. Servants got to be safe. I much prefer what you're wearing, but we certainly have enough gregs to go around. There you go. Do it and what you will. <laughs> ah, greetings, friend. Oh, what's this you have for me? Servants garb? Why? Miss Arabella, with the thief still at large, the risk of letting you be seen is too great. Change into those clothes and promise that you will not leave my sight. With the ceremony, Father will be furious in Lord Vanya's. We are dealing with the man who treated, uh, tried to blast me into heavens, into the heavens even. And almost succeeded. We cannot exercise caution enough. As for the ceremony, I have entrusted that matter to a certain gentleman. You need only concern yourself with your own safety. You should do as the inspector says, Miss Arabella. Your life is more important than this marriage, or whatever profits your father stands to gain from it. Lewin, your father heard you say such things. I should have said them long ago. But uh, by not doing so, I put your life in danger. Besides, we have not one but two skilled inspectors on the case. It will not be long until the fiend is brought to justice. <coughs> Very well. I shall retreat to the carriage. Pray wait for me here. Apologies for the delay. Uh, what should I do with the banquet dress, Inspector? Little. Oh, Little, bring Miss Arabella's dress, that bumbling Inspector. I dare not speculate as to <laughs> how he intends to see to his task, but I imagine it requires all the help he can get. Now let us return to the festivities uh, the the begin. We're going to be in a dress. It's just going to happen. It's not going to fit me, but I'm about to see... I'm about to see this man in a dress, and he's going to act like a fool... And it's going to be great. And it's going to be great. The minute they were like, this incredible beauty, I'm like, oh, I know how comedy works. <laughs> He's going to show up. Here's my best Here's my best hope. In a perfect world, Hildebrand dresses up as her. Vanya's is even more in love. Hilarity ensues. Ah, you returned, me? I was in the act of formulating a master plan to distract Master Vanya as the ceremony. Is there aught I might do for you?
Why, this is Miss Arabella's dress. I must admit to some confusion as to what to do with it, but worry not. I shall take it into safekeeping. And with that, I must attend Master Vani's before the ceremony begins. Worry not, friend. I assure you that Inspector Bryden and I have the situation under control. Why not find yourself a seat and enjoy the festivities? Ah, <sighs> you will not elude me this time, fiend. Curses! How am I supposed to find my map with all these people milling about? Friends, family, business associates, it is an honor and pleasure to welcome one and all to Costa del Sol for today's feast, co-hosted by the Big Al Consortium and the East Order Trading Company. We trust you've been enjoying- uh, What was her voice again? That doesn't matter. My experience a profitable conversation. The Lapis Maiden? If even half the tales are, are, of her beauty are true, Vanya's is the luckiest bastard in the realm. Yotodotos on all the case. <laughs> it's a great pleasure to announce the betrothal of my son, Vanya's future child, Magrakas Audium, to Arabella, daughter of Master Gigarim, of the East Oral Trading Company. A couple of rules exchanged their turn of vows out today. And that offer this is the auctions in the new era of prosperity for one and all. I bowed, Father. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present my son's lovely bride, the Lapis Maiden, whose beauty is here we go. Here we go. Mr. will sing for ages to come. And Hildebrand. Damn you, Hildebrand Mandeville, you had one job! <laughs> she's... she's beautiful! <laughs> With a rabble expecting otherwise, she is my bride, after all. <laughs> yes! Milady... They say your beauty transcends even the boundaries of time. When we are wed, you will want for nothing. Pray, give your hand unto me. My sun and stars. Yes, a thousand times yes. I am yours and you sh and shall be forevermore. With thy bride, you cross dressing deviant. Hit him with the flex. <laughs> Not what I quite intended, but I suppose it serves our purposes. Hit him with the flex. Fear not, ladies and gentlemen, for Miss Arabella's safe and sound. I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, have but assumed the maiden's appearance. To ensnare the vile fiend who would take aim at her life. Corsage, that corsage. Oh, that's a flex. <laughs> the music. Uh, <clears throat> the fiend who now lies defenseless before me. The game is up, Vanyas. I should, uh, should I call you by another name? The thief of many faces. M me? A thief? Are you mad? <laughs> Can I just tell you? 
I realized they gave him Cloud's hairstyle. The, like, two ridiculous ponytails. Or, I guess, pigtails or whatever they are. They gave him Cloud's hair from Final Fantasy VII. I just want to just realize that. Uh, <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> it appears my masterful deductions have proved beyond the grasp of your mind. Very well. Allow me to elucidate. Well, there is not a soul in the realm who has not heard the tales of Miss Arabella's beauty. There are but two men here in Costa del Sol who have gazed upon her lovely visions before today. Her father, Gigaremu, and her steward, Luanard. <coughs> As you yourself admitted on multiple occasions, Master Vanya's were, uh, you were to have your first glimpse of your bride-to-be today. Considered in this light, would you not say your reaction upon seeing my face was most unnatural? Who else could see through my ingenious disguise? Who could know at a glance that I was not the fair maiden? None save you, ye master of a thousand faces! <laughs> that, that music cut! And anyone else with half their wits about them? How, how dare you make a mock of me on my wedding day? Gods, arrest that pervert at once. Lock him up in the jail and throw away the key. Arabella? Oh, thank you, gods, you're safe. Come with me quickly. There's a dangerous man about. It was him. He's a Mandeville man. A glove on his right hand. Could it be? Came all this way for me? You love me. You really, really love me. Take it where I've come far, and now I must away, my lords, my ladies, till we meet again. Vonius was found bound and gagged in a storage room. Truly, Miss Arabella, I am sorry. For 
what, milady? The banquet was more exciting than I ever could have hoped for. Thonius and his father were furious, of course, and our marriage has been called off. But perhaps it is for the best. I would find my own way to make father happy by living my life as I would live it. It is you, Inspector Hildebrand, who taught me this lesson. <laughs> For the love of God, somebody find him a change of clothes. But one thing still puzzles me. The thief challenge said he would steal the Lapis Maiden's virtue. And in the end, he took only her neck piece. Now that you mention it, Master Gigaru told me that the class when it first arrived, engraved with the mark of the Sun Goddess. It is one of the most treasured pieces of Bugat collection, known by many as Azimaz as 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 Virtue. <clears throat> Speaking of Azim. Maiden's virtue, indeed. When the next challenge comes, we should, uh, we must take extra care to read between the lines. Plays us for fools. Give me that once. When next we meet, I shall come to claim the victor's spoils. Hmm, another riddle. If nothing else, it appears the thief has abandoned any foolish notions of my assassination. Still, we must be ever on guard. The fiend attempted murder once. He may very well do so again. Uh, verily, Inspector, I must agree. One can never be too wary when dealing with a murderer. Hear me, man of a thousand faces. You sealed your fate when you called me out by name. Mark my words. When next we meet, you will be mine. Yes, it was the Phantom Thief who was to blame for that bomb. Truly, verily, indisputably the Phantom Thief. Most certainly. <laughs> <laughs> the parlay mini game is now. What does that mean? You have unlocked the parlay mini game. Entertain yourself as many as a manful man. What? What? The victor goes a priceless treasure! Greg's 
back. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, Ultros. Well, shit. <laughs> the key to the next case is also the key to the storeroom. So be sure not to lose it. Wait, is a real key a figurative one? <laughs> Doblin. At the same time, is it even possible? I guess we'll find out next time. Doblin. <laughs> toy chest. We've acquired a toy chest containing several mini games. Visit an in room. Any in room? Or is it, can it be, can I have a home? Can I buy it from my home? Oh no, I gotta go to an in room. Are you kidding me? What is this? Oh hey, oh hey. I see you putting clothes on at the last minute. Uh, adventurers, right? I thought I knew what this game was and I saw the cutscene. This game has a lot in it that you would not expect. Slide 1 through 14. What? Star. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, this is hell on earth. Oh, these are those. Actually, hold on. I can slide numerous ones. Oh, this is. This is asshole on earth. Nope. I hate these in all games. <laughs> I hate these in all games. Concentration. All right, start. All right, all right. So who's that? Who's that? We got a thing the hill. We got a little tiny boy. That's a Hume. Oh, hey, oh. Hey. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. I was only held back by that. Yeah. Cheap dungeon. What is this? What, what is this? Roasted. Oh my goodness. A 
key. Oh. And the key's all the way up there. Oh, no. Oh, no. I can't believe this is what I'm doing right now. I can't believe, can't believe this is what I'm doing. I've doomed myself. Like this. This. Well, I learned a lot about myself today. Jigsaw puzzle. Special bonus. Place a piece that is not in contact with any other. It doesn't apply to edge pieces. Bridge bonus. Help features. Holy shit. Holy shit. The booby doo of space to see everything so Jesse what'd you do with your day uh, I did a puzzle that's what I did I did a puzzle Yeah. 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 I can't cheese that one. That's the one I can't cheese, huh? to watch me do a puzzle <laughs> so what is this game topics include his what is start what is this
opponent turn. I don't... So there's adjacent panels ver what the grid looks like this this is the most complicated you know what no I'm good I'm no I'm no extraordinary man I don't understand that to save my life Before we jump back into the world of Manderville, I need a palate cleanser. And so I don't forget. In a nutshell, click things that have copies in the same row or column. The number of them is how many points they're worth. Interesting. up here today you know what that's fine you know what that's fine it's so dark I can barely I can barely see the wings what am I flying on flying on a pork sea it's a fairy pig please please Uh, I'm flying on a porky. They're pig fairies made of clay. Yeah, made of clay and wishes. <coughs> made of clay and wishes and the dreams of children. Actually, I think I have to get this part first. Oh no. This is, this is it. Mmm, sniff it. Five forks, eh?
The best Porksy is Angelo, because he saved the world. Trembling porks, eh? Look at this little cutie pie. Bye. I'm gonna get out of here. Bye, bye, Kermy. <laughs> Angelo saved the world. And Gabu. And sweet Gabu. Gabu. I say to you oh <laughs> beaver oh capital beaver God, who are you oh. beaver That's my favorite. My favorite quest dialogue is the one where the fairy's like, I see them in my dreams! Well, well, you did all that work so you could level up. Great! Here, have some experience. Well, have some more experience. I love these quests. They're like, oh yeah, I'm smart. By the way, you're probably saying to yourself, Jesse, why did you do all these quests, pal? What was the point? Well, first off, first off, you can get yourself a stuffed porksy, and more importantly, a little pixie friend, and more importantly, a porksy you can ride on, and more importantly, all sorts of. Ooh, did I not, do I not have this? I do. Um, I think I have all of this, yeah? Well, and more importantly, once you do all of this, you create yourself a dream world. You create yourself a dream world. Put my cool kid glasses back on. Look at my dream world. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do -do -do. This is where we hang out in the dream world. Sweets! Amazing sweets! Now I might be saying, Jesse, what does all that mean? That doesn't... Does it make sense? Well, have you ever wanted to do a jumping puzzle that you suck at? Me too! Have you ever wanted to... run down a slide? You can do that! Have you ever said to yourself, boy, I want to go all the way up here and go down an even bigger slide? You can do that! Not get, do I have to go from all the way over here to get up there? Oh my god, I guess I can go up and down. Doing this. Where's 
much light. Yeah. Yeah. Out of the way, kid. <laughs> this is discomforting, honestly. Why are you saying because fairies will steal the the souls of children and whisk them away to a fantasy world of dreams and use it for their own enjoyment? What are you trying to say? What are you? I'm not. I'm confused what are you saying that all of the bush people that exist in this world are actually dead people that were murdered by the fairies what are you what are you saying what are you trying to say are you trying to say that everything here is on the backs of humans that were murdered maliciously by the fairies for their own entertainment what do you mean what Yeah, are you saying that I'm the I'm I'm not the snee snag of a of a Titania who rules over the fairies with an iron fist? Are you what? Let me just let me just state for the record. Person 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 brutally transformed and murdered person <laughs> yeah. person <laughs> what the fairies are fine folk They're just bushes now. No, this was like a, probably, a, you know, family. Came to the overturned creepy cart. Everything about this is fine. The fairies certainly didn't rise up and murder all the humans that lived in this kingdom. That'd be crazy. What happens if you turn the bushes? There are quests to do that. There are quests where they're like, those bushes are out of, you gotta go trim them. And you're like, what? <laughs> oh, wrong place. I need to go close to those soul. What? I ever end up getting a house? No, I don't have a house. Jesse, what game are you showing me? One of the best games out there right now. That entire zone is amazing. That entire zone is fantastic. I was wondering when you'd show up. I got the latest scoop on the victor spoils that our many-faced friend has set his sights on. Have you visited the Coliseum of late? There's a tourney in the works, and it's looking to be a big one. The Mithril Cup, sponsored by none other than Amanji and Sons Mineral Concern. They say that Master Figri... Fi... Fi... Fire Guys? Fire Guys. Master Fire Guys? will be furnishing the prize himself from his personal collection. Small wonder it's captured the attention of Mr. Sticky Fingers. You are familiar with the concern, yes? It's only the largest mining interest in the Sultanate, after all. The chairman, Master Fire Guys, sits on the syndicate and possesses such wealth that rumor has it he could buy half the realm if he chose to. He's also renowned for being something of a martial arts enthusiast. With his position affording him little opportunity to test his own skills, he settles for living vicariously through the exploits of others. Hence, his sponsorship of tournaments like the Mythical Cup. 
my colleague Gen Genalon. Genalon <laughs> is an old dog covering the tournament as we speak. If we were to track him down, I bet he'd be able to give us something to get our investigation started. Ulda, the steps of Ulda. Um, okay. Yes, I'm a busy man. If you're looking for small talk, I suggest you look elsewhere. No need to be uh, rude, Ganelon. He's my friend. Now, uh, that you, uh, now, what say you share your latest findings with us? I promise I'll make it worth your while. Ellie! <laughs> if it isn't the Mithrai Star Reporter, Come to have a laugh at Genlon's expense before returning to pen your latest front page feature, eh? Oh, very well. Just promise you'll put a good word for me with the higher-ups, okay? Now, let me tell you this. There's strange things afoot at the Coliseum. Bugger all the travesty, I tell you! <laughs> Who are these guys? Hotch Hugh! Hey Mo! Whatever's the matter? And where, pray tell, is Hutchin? The four of you will compete for the cup together, yes? I fear we have unfortunate mishap that has left Hutchin in no condition to fight. We were just on our way to convey the dire news to Dower Meadow. My heart be all, it is a sabotage! Some bloody coward out there will stop at nothing to eliminate us from the competition. Oh, I swear it'll be some to go. Uh, lower your voice, Haunch. My head stings enough without your bloody shouting. Who is this? Whoop! Oh, it's the other one. Uh, should you not be resting your wounds? Oh, but forgive your incompetent, unworthy comrade. If I'd been quicker with my mantra, we would still be four men strong. Don't berate yourself so, hey, Mo. In victory and in defeat, man the mantra villains fight as one. You bear no responsibility for my wounds uh, than I. Any road, I dare say I'll not be getting back into fighting fettle or my arse in about bed. Do I bring a chance of mantras? How about a lot of you? Hutchin, for you, I'm always ready, dude. Now that's what I like to hear. A thousand mantras. I want each one to ring out uh, over this single. Yeah! My pants are skin colored. The Mantravilles? Aye. As Hutchin tells it, they took their name from training partner they met the Fist of Rogar, a man they most admired for his devotion and chiseled physique. Consider me not the least bit impressed. This talk of attacks on the competitors, however, of this I would hear more. Ah, yes. I mentioned that strange things were afoot, yes? With mere days left before the Mithril Cup, a staggering number of would-be combatants have withdrawn, citing most curious ailments and injuries. With the list of entrants shrinking by the day, the organizers have been forced to abandon the elimination format in favor of mass melee between what few battlers remain. The Phantom Thief's Challenge Gladiator is dropping like flies. No, this is no mere coincidence. I would speak to the individual charged the event. Where might I find him? Though the concern sponsors the tourney, the day-to-day -day organizational duties are being handled by a fellow by the name of Dower Meadow. 
He should be in his office within the Coliseum's halls. I'll send word to the gateman, Yu Yu Baya. He owes the Mithril Eye a favor or two. Splendid. Come, little, we've got a case to crack. Oh, you gonna flex on me? No, no, no. I got a dance. I'm, I got, I'm rocking the dance. The mithril eye, you say? Well, by all means, free to enter. I'm Ellie, reporter for the mithril eye, never blinking, all seeing. You know the deal, yes? And you must be Dower Meadow. I was hoping I could ask you a few questions about the upcoming tourney. Damn, this guy. <laughs> Who am I to argue with free publicity? And from a charming little thing like yourself, ask away, my girl. Now that said, between the challenge of so-called fan with Eve for now these bizarre attacks targeting the fighters, our attorney's already the tug of the town. Not that you'll see me complaining, provided someone's still left to fight, that is. You're free to investigate as you wish, but it'd be a smart exercise of caution. Needless to say, recent events have ever won a bit on edge. Why, just moments ago, one fighter almost took another's head for insulting the color of his sub Looks like we got ourselves another. No, uh, these two aren't in the entry books. <laughs> and don't challenge our unleashes a vicious right hook on a gentleman inspector was channeling his strength for his next attack. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner! Inspector Bryden? As efficient as ever I see. A true gentleman. <laughs> Issues violence. <laughs> Inspector. You were thinking. It annoyed me. Down medal, I presume. Tell me everything you can about prizes for this tourney and try to be brief. Yeah, I was wondering what you might ask. Master Fire Guys has spared no expense in making the Mythical Cup the most lucrative tourney in the Coliseum ever seen. The victor receive a true treasure from his collection. The Warden's Grace, a ring fitted with the largest sun sphere you'll see outside of Oak Carter. The second and third place prizes are nothing to sneeze at neither. But I don't care how many faces he's got. We have nothing to fear from this thief. The Incern has hired an elite regiment of stone torches to watch over the vault day and night. Yes, just the brass blades were so successful in stopping the thief last time. If you want your treasures safe, go fetch them and bring them to me. And be quick about it, I have it all day. <laughs> I fear I can't do that, Inspector. After all, what proof do I have that you ain't Master Many Faces, ain't Mr. Many Faces, in another of his elaborate setups? No, if you want to get your hands on the spoils, you have to claim them as any other would. In battle. As a matter of fact, what with the ranks thin as they are, we're actively recruiting new competitors. The more, the merrier. And 
the more lucrative at that. Gar! <laughs> Now, where did our receptionist get off to? Over here, you slimy bugger! We've got some fresh blood for the melee! Give me a moment, will ya? I've only got eight arms. Where are their legs? You called? <laughs> I was just about to give lovely Miss Avila the grand tour. Inspector Hildebrand, look, he's purple. Astute as ever, Nashu. This color, this overabundance of appendages. I smell a case. Oh, that's just my receptionist, Ultros. Don't be startled now. He's an ugly little bugger, but he's friendly enough. Word has it, he's one of the many bizarre creatures born from recent experiment with ancient incantations at the, th at the Thaumaturges Guild. They were gonna seal him away in a hole in a desert with the others. When he opened his slobbering mouth and started pleading for his life, I just want to live in peace, I'll do anything, anything. So the management hired him to perform odd jobs around the Coliseum. <laughs> And I'm ever glad they did, I'll tell you. This job ain't glamorous, but it sure has its perks. What a delicious morsel. I want to get my tentacles around her. <laughs> the best Final Fantasy character ever. Hmm. <laughs> I know not who you are and where you hail from. I do not care. If you dare challenge me, my Tempest Blade will show you no mercy. You can forget about your case, Inspector. There is only one who will claim the victor's spoils. That is me. <laughs> I just love when she talks tough. Now, who's the chump who wanted to get bubbling by my lovely little AV. What? <laughs> Though a gentleman takes far more pride in rescuing fair damsels than fighting them, I fear we have little recourse. I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, shall do what must be done. Little JC will be entering the tournament on my behalf. Little JC, you do look like a JC. Well, bugger me with a spear. Uh, to think I see the day when the warrior light stood in my Coliseum. Hear that clink, clink, clinking? That's the sound a guild poured into our covers when the public finds out that a true Eorzean hero will be stepping into the ring to fight for the Mithril Cup. Oh, I reckon your friend can tag along too. Show him where to sign, Ulti. <laughs> With little, I suppose we have as good a chance as any. Now we needs uh, to make sure it doesn't come down to some curious inquiry or injury, even. That gladiatrix, Avila, was it? Seemed quite certain of her chances of victory. Suspiciously certain, I should say. I would say, even. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm already ten steps ahead of you, Inspector. That Ultros fellow seemed most knowledgeable of, about Miss Avila. Come, Nashu! The investigation is afoot! As much as that sounds like an amazingly productive line of in investigation, might I suggest that our first priority is to keep little safe here? Uh, let us return to, uh, to Ganelon and see what else he can tell us of these mysterious attacks on the combatants. Very well. I shall leave the task to you. I have a lead of my own to investigate. Should you uncover any new information, I trust you will share it with me at first opportunity.
Inspector Little on the case. Although, if we're gonna, I have to get in the costume. If we're gonna, if we're doing this, I gotta. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Why am I here? What is happening, Jesse? Actually, you know what job I should you know what job I should have right now? What am I doing? What am I even doing? There's only one job fit for uh Yeah, <laughs> yeah Excellent. I suppose that our questioning of Mr. Ultros can wait. Let's see if this Ganelon fellow can enlighten us. Look, I know you're the warrior of light and all, but we can't afford to take any chances. Be on your guard, little. <laughs> I guess she's just writing the notes, too. You again, I've told you. What? Entered the tourney, you say? Are you out of your bleeding mind? Look, I got a suspicion or two, which I'm happy to share with you. But in the end, you have to protect yourself here. So I've been asking around, and it seems that more than a few of the fighters who pulled out of the tournament um, were scheduled to fight a warrioress by the name of Avila. Now, I can't make any promises, but my instinct tells me this girl is bad news. But don't take it from me when you can hear it from someone who crossed blades with her just days ago. A fellow by the name of Raging Rat. I had the misfortune of being matched up with the villain in a preliminary round and earned himself a right bruising from it all. Last I heard, he was resting up back at the Puglis Guild. Um, why don't you go there and pay him a visit? I will. See the Pugs at the Pugs. At the Puglis Guild. Not the Puglis, that's where the dogs are. They have no faith in this boy who tosses bombs on a whim. Bomb toss. <laughs> uh, come to have a good laugh at old Ranger Rod's expense, Harry. Eh? Yeah, well, you're not the first. I say there's not a man in the entire realm with the owns of sympathy. Greetings, good sir. How fortunate you are today that your guest is Hildebrand Mandeville, gentleman and inspector. Now, if you would please enlighten me to how exactly it was that you were beaten to a bloody pulp by Miss Avila. Gentlemen, my horse, have you not a wit of delicacy? Oh, uh, never mind, look. The records say I lost, but I'll admit to nothing of the sort. I'll shout it from the top of me lungs and no one else will. The girl doesn't fight fair. Tempest Blaze, some kind of foul sauce if you ask me. Mark my words, that girl's up to no good. If she weren't so damn easy on the eyes, she'd be rotten in jail as we speak. The girl's out of me, you haven't heard. You know how it is with those refugees. They fight with honor when you got... Uh, why fight with honor when you got nothing to lose? Uh, I mean, I've heard some things about Alamegans. I, you know, I don't want to say nothing. <laughs> but they're definitely, they definitely will be the first to call you sloppy. Sloppy. Um... Yes, and why not disparage an entire people in a pathetic attempt to salvage your sorry pride? This one's a real piece of work, Little. Let's be on our way. Oh, I didn't mean no offense, miss. Just tell it like it is, as it were. <clears throat> perhaps it's truly some man of sorcery, as the fellow says. Or perhaps she works with an accomplice. She didn't strike me as the magic-wielding type. If I were a betting woman, I'd put my gill on the ladder. 
I'll miss Ellie. The thrill the chase has struck a chord with you as well. Yes, I can see it in the wrinkles beneath your eyes. We might very well make an inspectress of you yet. I'll give you a good wrinkle, you insensitive boar. <clears throat> if what the man says is true, it's likely that her fellow Alamegans might sympathize with her plight. An accomplice would hardly be out of question. Yes, I can see it now. Two unfortunate souls shunned by those around them, united by destiny and a common desire for justice. Ample appendages whirling wildly, sending gusts of wind flying every direction, every which way even. Avila and Alti, a match made in the heavens. Were it any more obvious, I could have solved the case without leaving my home. Incredible! Your powers of deduction never fail to advise, Inspector! What is it with you two and that infernal octopus? Mr. Ultra should be at the Coliseum. Let's hurry before he slithers back to off to whence ever he came. Altros, leave these ladies alone. I'm not going to do it. I love ladies. Shh. Friend, look over yonder. Behold those... Oh, wrong voice. Behold those exquisite legs. Those stylish tentacles. The unearthly undulations of his squirmy, squishy body. Yes, our friend Ulti is a most fascinating creature indeed. Behold how he carefully eyes the gladiatrix before him. What manner of mischief is he plotting? He speaks. Yes, this is most suspicious indeed. Oh, ho what is this? The girls fled in panic. Our friend Alti appears to be discouraged. Look at the way his shoulders sag. Or how they would sag if he had shoulders. Our quarry is on the move. Quickly, Nashu, we must pursue. He's just a pervert octopus. Why is that so wrong? Why is that so wrong? He's just a pervert. Mr. Ulti seems to have found himself another gladiatrix. What might he be plotting this time? Look at those succulent legs! I reckon they taste just as wonderful in a good marinara sauce! Marinara sauce! Oh, he speaks! And another girl rushes off! Whatever did he say to her? He looks so sad. Shall we douse him in leather bottle and put him on for his misery, Inspector? Whatever is he doing with these girls, anyway? Call me crazy, but I think he likes them.
<laughs> Quest complete. We solved it. We solved it. Riddle solved. Oh, Mr. Ultros didn't seem that much luck with the ladies. Speaking only for myself, I love to have him for dinner. Perhaps in a nice lemon butter sauce. Oh no. Oh no. Poor misunderstood Alti. Here we suspected him of criminal activity when in truth he was just a gentle soul luckless in love. Oh, Alti, can you find it in your squishy slimy heart to forgive us? Yes, yes. Now, perhaps we should return to our investigation. If Avila is as suspicious as they say, perhaps we should follow her around for a bit. Dower Meadow back at the Coliseum should be able to enlighten us uh, as to her whereabouts. An excellent idea, Miss Ellie. But I have a better one. Let us return to the Coliseum and speak to Dower Meadow. From him, we shall ascertain Miss Avila's whereabouts, upon which we shall follow her and see if she is indeed as suspicious as they say. Come, Nashu! The investigation calls. Yeah. <gasps> Don't think Auntie Alti didn't see you. Uncle Alti even didn't see you following me. What's the big deal, eh? Oh, I'm nothing more than a stupid octopus. <laughs> or am I? <laughs> Come on now, I just want what any octopus wants. A cute girl, untold riches, and the admiration of millions. Can't untle, 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 untle? Is it cause of my tentacle? Octopuses don't have uncles. They have uncles, apparently. Uncle Alti Dream. Well, kids, hate to ink and run. Then again, I am an octopus. What is this time? I'm busy, man. Looking for a meal, you say? Mm, she says something about sharing her flag in with her countrymen over the coffer and coffin. Uh, I reckon you might still find her there. I warn you, though, if you're smart, you'll keep your distance from that one. That poor bugger Genlon tried to interview her for an article. Thought the girl was gonna rip his head clean off. How can I put this? She doesn't seem to take kindly to being asked questions of a personal nature because my drift. That said, if you're looking for a good sparring match to warm up for your tourney, that might just be the ticket! <laughs> I can assure you that we will need no... Uh, we will need for... Uh, we will be no need... We be no need... What? I can assure you there... Oh, there will be. I think I'm illiterate. <laughs> All right. I can assure you, there'll be no need for gratuitous fisticuffs, my good sir. With my remarkable powers of espionage, we will ascertain all the information we need without the fiery lass even being alerted to our presence. Let us be off! Where, where is this? Oh, it's way out in the middle of nowhere, huh? Do I smell toast? No. But I did, I did make English muffins this morning, and there were, I, I, uh, I got them from this bakery, and they're like real English muffins, not that BS English muffins you get at the grocery store. Holy shit, gang, they're good. Oh! Oh! They good as balls. 
Them's some good ass. Them's some good ass. Come, Spriggan. Look at this little. Look at this little cutie. <laughs> Come, Spriggan. Behold the lovely Miss Avila. Just as I predicted. Let us keep watch from here, so as not to set off the girl's faint temper. How many times must I tell you? There's no cause for concern. The spoils shall be mine. It may as well be written stone. Do you realize what this means? We have suffered and suffered long, but my victory shall mark a new era. Just as Rahaban Aldin won a new life for himself in the Colosseum, I shall win a new life for our people. The prize that I shall claim will bolster the wealth of our people a thousand, no, ten thousand fold. In a land where wealth is power, we will be kicked to the gutter by the old dons no longer. And with that, I must be off to the Nanawa Mines to meet my sister. Miss Lilith's self-assurance is ever a sight to behold. I deduce that my own chances of felling her on the field of battle are infinitesimal. I could have told you that before you signed up. Come now, we have a suspect to pursue. Boom, boom. Boom. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Trying to steal a villa from Uncle Alti's tentacles, are you? I'm afraid that isn't going to happen. Yes, Uncle Alti's homemade explosives. We'll see that this uh, that this is the end of the road for you. Does that make me a bad octopus? Ah, the distinctive smell of fire sand. Another one of your handcrafted explosives, I take it, Nashu. Oh, it's no, Inspector. This is far too elaborate to be one of mine. Do you think whoever crafted this would be willing to give me a lesson? They're, they're on to me? Preposterous! Uh, could it be that that muscle head isn't as stupid as he looks? I see. In any event, I shudder to think what might happen if an unsuspecting passerby chanced upon this hazardous object. Allow me! Heave! You gotta be kidding me! Yep. Yep. He blasted off the speed of light. Team Ultros blast off again! <laughs> that maiden is my, uh, in mining garb must be the sister of whom Miss Avila spoke. Let us listen a bit closer. I thought we agreed. No hard labor until your leg is healed. I swear, sometimes I think you were born solely to give your poor sister headaches. Says the girl who once fought off ten Imperials with one good arm. Perhaps someday you'll understand that your little sister can take care of herself just as well as you. Speaking of which, what news of the journey? Worry not, he Hegelina. That's right, that's your name. I have taken all the necessary precautions. The Warden's grace is as good as ours. Even if the most modest estimates value its worth is some 30 million gil. Do you realize what this means? Necklaces from Estemane sun silk dresses? All the luxuries you ever wanted will be yours. 
The poor little girls in shabby clothes, objects of pity, the scorn of the old dawn upper crust. Those days are over. After I claim victory, we will take our rightful place at the top of society. I don't know, Avi. Wealth is all well and good, but... When I see you stand tall in the Coliseum, hundreds of thousands cheering your name, I, I am proud. No matter how humble our birth, if we stand strong and stand together, this alone is all the wealth I ask for. That is your problem, Hegelina. You always have too quick. Uh, you have been too quick to settle for less than you're worth. But worry not. If your sister is watching over you, I will do this for us. Now I must return. God forbids one of those prying reporters overhears us. That's my Abby. Unfazed by a duel to the death, yet terrified to be caught in a moment of tenderness. May the gods smile on you, sister, and be safe. A more moving display of sisterly love I have not seen. And yet I fear it has afforded us little in the way of prospective clues. <laughs> it would seem Vila's obsession with victory runs even deeper than we imagined. That said, I can't help but feel a bond with the, uh, with the girl. My sister and I were alone in the world too, you see. Inspector, did you hear that? Did you hear what I heard, even? Look, kids, Uncle Alti has had it up to here with you. Did you think you could just fall into this pit and die? Oh, do you think you just fall into this pit and die like a good little boy? <laughs> I'm talking to you, Mr. Warrior of Light. Hear that sound? Just one step closer. Closer! <laughs> no, not you, you idiot! <clears throat> no need for concern, friends. I have simply taken the liberty of investigating this hole in the ground, and I'm pleased to report that there seems to be nothing out of the ordinary. Our hero. Now, shall we return to Ulda? The Mithril Cup will be starting before long, and the last thing I want to do is lose... <laughs> After all this, it's to lose our bout by forfeit. Could it be? Did that muscle head dive straight into my trap to save his companions? The others seem completely unsurprised by this turn of events. Doubtless he's performed such selfless acts before. A true gentleman if I ever saw one. But if you think that means I'm gonna show you mercy... I'll show mercy on you! You've got another thing coming! Time to break out the big guns, kids! Wait a minute. I dug two pits, didn't I? Come to think of it, the second one is right around! Give me a break! Chu, chu, the cocaine. Ani on Tokyo number one. Does he think he's found this time? Yes, is something the matter? We're on something of a tight schedule here, Inspector. Stand back, Miss Ellie. My well honed Inspector's senses are tingling. I feel a most fearsome adversary lurking about. Wow. 
this time, you're really up the creek without a paddle, kids. <laughs> Say hello to a not-so-little friend of mine from the Coliseum. He's large, he's in charge, and most of all, he's hungry. <laughs> Where in the world is he? I haven't got all day. <laughs> Who is this half-naked fool? Father! Could it be that the aura of unmitigated murderous rage that I felt was not our quarry, but you? Hell! I was merely taking a stroll in search of inspiration and materials for my newest masterpiece in the making. And what brings you and your friends to these parts today? Just a bit of sleuth work, Father dear. And with that, we must return to Uldar. If you've not heard, your son is set to compete for the Mythical Cup. Oh ho! Mulan is a gladiator, are we? A fin second career for a man of a man, if I do say so myself. That muscle-bound old man is the inspector's father? Remind me never to go to one of their family reunions. God, just who is this inspector anyway? Hildy is a worthy rival, if ever there were one. <laughs> Who goes there? Oh, shit! Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> Greg. Hildy, little. I've been waiting for this day. Well, look who we have here. You're quite the intimidating gent yourself. A friend of the inspector, mayhap? I am Gilgamesh, wandering duelist. And I am not so much the inspector's friend as... His enemy. Well, that makes two of us. Perk up, Gulliver, cause this just might be your lucky day. There is no one in this accursed realm who can remember my... <sighs> Call me what you will, friend, but heed my words. Lil is a formidable foe. <laughs> That sounded like high praise coming from a big fella like yourself. And to have such a powerhouse as his sidekick, that inspector must be something else indeed. I know not what brings you to do battle with those two, but I warn you, you will end up as seafood soup if you face them alone. And with that, I must be off. For reasons that I do not entirely understand, I am considered something of a fugitive in these parts. Little, I will not fall so easily this time. I don't know. It was pretty easy last time. 
well. It looks like I've got my legs full, all eight of them. <laughs> but that, uh, but if that adventurer is too strong to take on alone, I'll just have to bring along a friend. <laughs> it's Typhon. We, it's it's Typhon. We know. We know where this is going. You only have one friend. It's something a twist and ring calling to mind the undulations of a creature of the sea. Yes, inspiration has struck. Nobody else here but an octopodes. Look forward to your next life as a masterpiece, fiend. the good stuff, eh? <laughs> That's the good stuff, eh? Guess I could have just walked into town, but... Good heavens! Chancing upon father like that, I dare say it's taken a year off my life. Quite a crowd has assembled. It would seem the festivities are nigh about to commence. I had hoped to uncover more of Miss Avila's secret, but no matter! What better place to continue my investigation than on the field of battle? Good heavens, we haven't much time before the tourney begins. We must hasten back to the Coliseum and apprise ourselves of the rules of engagement. A true gentleman, uh, to a true gentleman, a battle is not about victory or defeat, but fighting with honor. Whatever treachery or guile my opponents may employ, I must not, I will not, lower myself to their level. I will. I'll do it. Whoop. Someone in chat want to know what you were wearing, so I showed them what you were wearing. Is it just me, or is Mr. Ultros a bit lumpier than he was before? Bumps on my head, chipped teeth. I am one shabby looking octopus. I tell you, they don't pay me enough for this. And that's all gonna change soon, isn't it, buddy? Fuga! Ah, uh, Mr. Ultros, the octopus we're, uh, ah, ah, Mr. Ultros. Just the octopus we were looking for. I was hoping that you might enlighten us as to ye 
gods who gave you those ghastly bruises. Bruises? I fell down the stairs, that's all. Don't get lost, I'm a busy octopus. Uh, Ouch, you have my sympathies, good sir. It is challenging enough to coordinate four limbs, let alone eight. Hmm. Is there someone inside your office? No, whatever gave me that idea. I'm simply, uh, fumigating the place for pests. Pests like yourself. Now, don't you have a battle to go fight? Fung! Inspector, I think something's alive in there! Th that's just me! Uh, talking to myself! Yes! Fung! Gods! Yes, gods! Working a res as a receptionist is fun! Battered, bruised, beset by vermin and still able to find joy and fulfillment in your work? I say, Master Ultros, your passion for your chosen profession is truly an inspiration to us all. Ladle, if you would come with me for a moment, I fear the stupidity in the air may be contagious. Yeah, okay. Well, has your investigation borne any fruit? Dude, you have no clue. I see. A visitor seeks to win the tourney to claim the fortune and raise her and her sister out of poverty. Furthermore, she is implied that she has taken the necessary precautions to ensure that her victory is all but certain. While trailing her, you narrowly evaded a series of dastardly obstacles, and upon your return, that strange octopus appeared considerably worse for wo uh, the wear. The evidence points in one direction. The Alamegan girl and Ultros are plotting together to claim the Mithril Cup and its lucrative prize. It is not as preposterous as it sounds. I've done some research on our eight-legged friend. It would appear that Ultros has become something of a regular in Dolls Taverns and, um, House of Pleasures? Or Houses of Pleasure? Whatever. I suspect that he is using his inside knowledge of the workings of the Colosseum to identify and eliminate potential threats, thereby ensuring victory for Vila and earning himself a healthy commission. There is also the matter of the Tempest Blade, that is rumored to be the source of the Alamegan girl's strength. This remains a mystery, which means the four, uh, uh, which means that I fear for your, uh, fear your life, woo, is in danger, little. Couldn't get through that one. That was a tough one. One of the guards informed me that several crates of refuse from the Colosseum reception room were hastily discarded in Pearl Lane not bells ago. It is a stab in the dark. The contents may yet provide some answers. I would ask you to bring them to me. Everyone making me run around doing stuff. I guess they just go over here. Was that the squall? Did I just did squall just run? Oh well, but that's not at all what I wanted. I've sent myself outside. So cool. So very cool. And now I'm right back where I started. Jesse Cox, professional video game extraordinaire.
Back to the back to the gladiators arena. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. See what you found. Now, what do we have here? Ah, uh, yes! A spectacular assortment of innards and entrails, and what's this? A sack. Even more foul smelling than the gore it was lying in? If that can be believed. And look here, something appears to be written on the side. Sin got sundries. It would seem this merchant has had dealings with that squishy mass of tentacles. Let us pay a visit to the man and have him enlighten us the exact nature of their partnership. You making me go to the sundries? I used to. Okay, back to the red. Welcome, welcome. Uh, what might be, what might a certain gentleman like yourself be looking for today? What's this, dude? Uh, I'm sorry, sir, but I said it once, said it a thousand times. No exchanges, replacements, or refunds. I stand by the quality of my wares, and I expect my customers to do the same. Wait, no. Did Ultra send you? I'll be asking the questions here. What exactly did you sell to that ungodly creature? Why, uh, an entire sack full of gold truffles. Can you believe it? What, with the impressive price like, uh, impressive price and that uh, distinctive aroma, they're only good for the most discerning of customers, which Mr. Altros clearly is, as he just placed another order today. Could these truffles somehow be connected to? No. I shan't stop myself before I start sounding like... Inspector Bryden, it wounds me, wounds me, that you would sneak off to conduct your investigation without me, and to steal away little here. This gentleman is not impressed. Did you find anything, Inspector? Good gods, what is that dreadful smell? Miss Ellie, I would have expected a cultured young woman like yourself to be more educated in the Epicurean arts. That is the most distinct and delightful aroma of the gold truffle. An acquired taste to be sure, but one that has won the heart of many Ultan Gourmet. I particularly enjoy them slow roasted as my dear mother makes them. Roasted, you say? Why, a mouth water is thinking about it. Might I be as bold to ask for the recipe? It appears the productive portion of this conversation has come to an end. Besides, the turn is about to begin. Let us make haste back to the cold sea. Well, that merchant proved to be a spectacular waste of time. Time, which is in short supply. We must return to the Coliseum before the battles begin. Here's the plan, Little. I shall find a suitable vantage point to observe Miss Avila in combat. Until I have ascertained the trickery behind her abilities, you are to keep a wide berth for a blade. Understood? Do you feel the anticipation in the air, my friend? This shall go down in yours in history as the greatest battle since I slew that dragon. That did actually happen, yes? 
I shall find a suitable vantage point to observe Miss Avila in combat. Until I have ascertained the trickery behind her abilities, you do your thing. There you are! I was close to starting to melee without you! <laughs> oh, I'd be remiss not to tell you there's been a slight change of plans. Another contestant suffered a last minute injury, and none other than our very own Ultros has stepped in to take his place! With everyone's favorite octopus joining you two in the fray, spectators are just pouring in. The bookmakers across town are raking in the gill, which ain't a bad thing for us. Word has it that Master Fire Guys himself is quite taken with my promotional skills. Hey, <laughs> the future's looking bright for old Dower Meadow it is. So, what say ye? Are you ready to kick your, uh, get your asses kicked? Yeah. <laughs> Aye, that's what I like to hear, ladies and gents. It's time for blades to whirl and limbs to fly. Most of us are just part of my little weird team. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, plutocrats and poppers. Open your eyes and steal your stomachs. The Mithril Cup brought to you by our ever charitable friends at Abajina and Sons Mineral Concern. Your concern is our concern. It's about to begin. Who will stand atop the heap of main bodies and twisted limbs to claim victory? Will it be uh, the temptress of Ila of Alamigo? Little the famed warrior of light, or who's that grinning fool again? Ah, that's right, Humber Batch, agent of infamy and imbecile extraordinaire. Or will it be our eleventh hour entry, Ultros, the eight-legged purple purveyor of pain? <laughs> Here I am! Did you miss me? Aye, I say we have a battle for the ages here, folks! Combatants, take your positions and let the battles begin! Well, JC's just happy to be there. He's just happy to be around, having a good time. Mm -hmm. All right, you know the deal. We team up and wipe out the others. Then when it's just the two of us, I'll take a dive. And you receive your share of the winnings. I have not forgotten our promise. out there. They breed them tough and Alamigo, that's for certain. <laughs> you are next. Lady, I'm a blue mage. This is bad news for you. Here we go, ladies and gents. Once my buddy gets away from these raw truffles, he'll be sneezing up a storm. Literally. <laughs> oh, nothing like the rich aroma of roasted truffles. All oh, this fight is giving Uncle Alti an appetite. Is the time for dinner yet? 
Wait a minute. Roasted truffles? Braised in a savory sauce, just like mother used to make them. Feel free to have seconds. The whole <laughs> there's a whole sack full where that came from. <laughs> oh, that meddling muzzle head. What's taking so damn long? The girl's gaze gives it away. Open that gate at once. <laughs> what? What is that monstrosity? Dude, I don't even know. It's got a mouth for a butt. <laughs> oh, Miss, Mr. Typhon, is that your stomach I hear rumbling? C could I interest you in some roasted truffles, perhaps? Just walking up. What fascinating friends you have, Alti. Why, just look at this charming little nose. Hmm. Is he perhaps suffering from a case of the sniffles? Could it be? I feel this Tempest, uh, vaunted blade, uh, Tempest blade? It was that monster all along? The girl played us all for fools! Boo! Boo! <laughs> Don't look at me! It was all her idea! I'm just a stupid octopus! You, you were the one who approached me, you double-dealing fiend! I just wanted to experience the thrill of battle, you know, for my work and all. Come on, Dower. Has Uncle Alty ever lied to you? What did I tell you? I knew there was something fishy about that Alamegan whore. Whoa! Alamegans are all beggars and brutes, a lot of them. We give them a home in our lands and this is a thanks we get? Send her to Garlemald for all I care, grr. I just wanted to, my sister. I feel for the girl. I re uh, really, my little octopus heart goes out to her. But the rules are the rules, right? Now if Uncle Ulti may be so bold. I say we call off the melee and have a final showdown between the three remaining competitors. That would be me, my buddy Typhon, and Little here. What do you say, Mr. Warrior of Light? Yeah, that'd be awesome, all trolls, all trolls. Well, this is a most unprecedented turn of events. But who am I to deny the wishes of such passionate crowd of martial arts aficionados? The venue. Halatali, the fighters, the tag team of Ultros and Typhon versus the Warrior of Light. Who will be left standing when the storm has settled? Be there or miss the battle of the ages. Ah! I didn't even get to, I didn't even get to dress up. I can't go with my blue mage, huh? <laughs> so, to review, the truffles were to elicit a sneeze from the octopus's oversight crony, which would be positioned so as to appear was coming from the Alamegan girl's blade, allowing the two to sweep their way across the opponents with ease. No wonder I wasn't able to sooner see, uh, see it sooner. 
It's quite possibly the most imbilic scheme, imbecilic, that's a word I probably shouldn't know, imbecilic scheme I've encountered in my years as a consulting inspector. At any rate, we have no choice but to trust in your abilities now, Little. Let us make for Halatali. There's a lot of knocked out people down there. There's no telling what inane trickery that octopus will attempt next. Be on your guard, little. I suppose if anyone can defeat those fiends, it's you. Be safe, little. Well, this tourney turned into a right mess. With all the trouble I took preparing consolation prizes for the melee, it looks like it won't be need them after all. Of course, as long as you're bringing in the spectators, the profits... I could give a nice ask. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Two against one ain't fair, especially when one of them two is, an over, is a small of a size house. What, what words did I just say? Is the size of a small house even. So here's the deal. Why don't you bring along some of your friends for the battle? Let's say seven of them. That should even the odds, eh? That should even the odds, yes. Take me. Okay. All right. Taking. C can I go as uh? Can I go as a blue mage or am I SOL? All right. Just by the names of people who messaged me right away, I can tell this group this party's gonna be exactly the kind of party. <laughs> Oh, Tessa! <laughs> Tessa, you were the last person to message me. Oh, no. Uh, I can tell this party is going to be the most ridiculous party in the world. This is a requirement for blue. Oh, well, I'm definitely going to do it. Minimum item level? Oh, chat. Oh, chat. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'll make everyone work for it. Oh, this is a trial, isn't it? The dragon's neck. Amazing. We need some healers. I mean, I have healing wind. That's pretty great. <laughs> what's our What's our party made of? All right, we have one blue mage, one heart master, one dragoon, one whirlwind tempest boy, one warrior, one uh white mage, one dragoon, one axe master. All right, we're fine. We have one kingdom heart. Amazing. Combatants, the final confrontation will be held here. Atop the... They didn't even change the music. They were just like... Include the music. <laughs> so 
So who do we kill first? Typhon, I assume? Can I freeze them and then instantly kill them? They share HP. Alright. <laughs> Who is Alphano is <laughs> terrifying. Gotcha, okay. I understand the mechanic now. Okay. his picture and we can end the fight real quick.
fine. <laughs> I'm just spectating, really. I don't see the problem here. Oh, I can move? Oh, I'm good. I thought it was done. I thought it was out. I learned something. I learned something else. What? And again, I feel like such a sucker. I did nothing in that fight. A little claims the mithril cup. The real heroes are everyone but me, but I'll take it. Question, what did I just get? Time out. Hello, everyone. Oh, wait, what did, what did we just get? I think I have it. Maybe I don't. Neat. I'll, I'll need. Um, what did I just get? Blue Mage Spellbook. I assume I just got that. And Snort. Saddest dead stare firework I've ever seen. Look at all these show offs. Here's the show off side, and over here is like, It's me, Al it's me, Alpha Dog. <laughs> Are we dancing? Dup, 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 <laughs> yeah! Time skip Alfie. It's me, Alpha Dog. Tessa out here, dancing away. Good show, little. Your performance has earned us front row seat to the award ceremony. This should afford us the perfect vantage point to thwart the feast. Come, let us return to the Coliseum. Thanks, guys! Alpha nerd. Summon the summon the new Ultros? Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. Hold on, what does this thing say? 
muscle heads hate them. One can only imagine the time and effort Master Goldsmith Godbert put into the creation of this lifelike recreation, recreation of a lecherous purple octopus. He's obedient. Come here. No, not that obedient. A most remarkable display of martial skill, my adventuring friend. Clearly, you have been observing me well in our travels. The ceremony will begin any moment now. Be on your guard. Our adversary may be anywhere or anyone. It was a battle for the ages, but a worthy victor has risen to claim the spoils. And now, let's take a look at the relic that our champion has won. And it's stolen. And immediately gone. Behold, from the personal vaults of Master Fire Guys himself, the Warden's Grace, a timeless treasure the likes of which our realm has never seen. One that's earned the attention of yours is most prominent pilfer, Gar Har Har. Above you. Ladies and gentlemen, Inspectors and invertebrates. The opening act dragged on over long, but worry not, the main event is about to begin. I know that you paid well for your seats here today, but I can assume that my performance will not leave you disappointed. I can assure you even. <laughs> Don't know what I was saying. Now I invite one and all to sit back and enjoy the show. Vile fiend, mark my words. You have stolen your last treasure. I swear it on the Mandeville name. <laughs> the slow descent. I think not, Hildegard. Ah! Greg? Tis always a pleasure to reunite with old friends, but your timing truly leaves something to be desired. But not today. I shall have my revenge when I pierce your chest with my spear. Uh, do you not mean your skewer? My spear! Thief, is there not a shred of honor in you? Return my weapon at once. Oh, it seems we have an unexpected guest. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but I fear attendance at today's performance is by invitation only. Now it's rain and truffles? 
But the battle's already. Oh, uh, Mr. Typhon. Uh, just a moment. I'm sure I had a tissue here somewhere. Uh, And of course he gets the ring, just because. Alas and alack, the ring sails straight into the hands of the fiend! Giving up so soon, are we? Those don't sound like the words of a Manderville- Uh oh, this is the dad, wrong voice. Giving up so soon, are we? Those don't sound like the words of a Mandeville man. <laughs> Why? Why does he have this slow mo walk? I shall go to the ring. Why, it'll be just like Dalima. Hildebrand, Hildebrand, Maximilian Mandeville. Scoured as only a Mandeville can. Never came back down again. <laughs> 997, 998, 990. Oh. <laughs> that bird's just hanging out. <laughs> oh my god. Strangely familiar. <laughs> well, a little too much spin in that one, seems. Not exactly as planned, but who can argue with the results? Save for one thing. This ring is fake. But no matter. I have a feeling this will lead me into the true treasure. Until next time, friends. You have been most attentive audience. 
key. Bloody hells. Gods, seize the feet at once. Sir, the second prize, the Ring of Inquiry, is gone. Second prize? What is the meaning of this? Many faced fiend of Noah, the man spoke true. Master Goldsmith's eyes cannot be deceived. This sun sphere is clearly a second rate replica. Preposterous! It's just a uh, uh, dim lighting. Yes, if you step over here. Have you taken ill, friend? You seem to be perspiring most heavily. Uh, let's not be so hasty, friends. Uh, I can explain. Sold out my honor. Joined forces with that odious octopus. All for a false treasure. What a fool I've been. Whatever was I thinking. Do not berate yourself so, Miss Ava uh, Avila. Why, I was exact... Uh, why, it was exactly as you said. Was it not? You were thinking of dear Hegelina. And nothing more. I suppose I was that. Hmm. How do you know my sister's name? I assure you, young miss, under no circumstances did I tell you to the Nanawa minds and eavesdrop on your intimately personal dialogue with your beloved sister. Uh, you, you, you're the right of it. Blinded by the prospect of fortune and fame, I lost sight of myself and what I truly was fighting for. My honor and my sister's trust will not be, uh, will not easily be regained, but I will not shrink from the challenge. Is that a fart noise? What was it? One mystery still remains. Before the thief had identified the ring as fake, he had already acquired the key to the storeroom. Clearly, the second prize, the Ring of Inquiry, was his target from the start. But why? There must be some pattern to the items the fiend has stolen. A pattern that betrays his true intentions. Treaty blade, as Emma's virtue, and a ring of inquiry. All relics which qui with quite a history. Oh, to be more precise, relics from the era of the Belladians. Belladians. Yup, that's a word I said. I'm thinking. Ah! Oh ho! If that's so, the answer is clear as day. The Fiend means to found Eorzea's greatest museum of Belladian history. 
putting, uh, pushing up the prices and gouging honest men out of their hard-earned coin. Doubtless another one of his cards will appear on the scene just uh, to tell us just as much. So he's like, I've seen too much shit. I've enjoyed our little game, but all good things must come to an end. I shall claim the four sacred treasures, and justice shall be served? So, this is the thief's final challenge to us. But what are these four treasures of which he speaks? Where the four treasures of Paladia become one, the wicked shall be judged in the blazing light of sun. An old legend, little more than a fairy tale at that. And yet it seems the fandom believes there's some truth in these words. Four sacred relics from Belladia, the Warden's Justice, lofty words coming from a glorified footpad. One who's winning over the common folk by the day, if rumors are to be believed. It would seem the tales of a master thief ruffling the feathers of the rich and famous have won the man more than a few admirers. Consider his targets thus far. An old dawn collector and her hired thugs, a trading mogul and the brass blades, and now a mining magnate and the stone torches. Is it any surprise the sympathies of the ordinary old dons would lie with the perpetrator rather than his victims? Absolutely, abs uh, astutely observed even Miss Ellie. Our quarry clearly harbors no small degree of resentment for wealth and authority. Might his next target be a member of the Syndicate? Perhaps the Sultana herself? <laughs> then, it will be his downfall. For the greater the challenge, the greater I rise. <clears throat> Just one moment, if you would. Mark my words, ye many faces. There is but one man who shall lay claim to the four lost relics of Belladia, and it shall be Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire. Yes, I'm sure that inspires us all with great confidence.
was that? No, it couldn't be. <laughs> Thank God, but it may need new bass spectacles. race to recover the lost uh, the four lost relics of Belladina. As the fiend's true identity and aspirations are revealed, will Eorzea fall prey to the forces of evil? Or will our hero do what only a mandible can? <laughs> 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 